am from Shimla. Uh, I did my B.Tech from NIT Hamirpur in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. After that, I joined XIMB and I did my internship in IBM as an SCM or Active Consultant. I was an SCM consultant in IBM and my role there was to go there, learn the technology that is Oracle SCM technology and after learning the technology solve a case study that was given to me by the company. So I used to go to the office, complete my learnings there and then perform some tests and when the tests were completed successfully by me, uh, talk with the people who are working there, talk with the, my fellow consultants who were senior to me and who had prior experience in that industry and then work with the solutions for the case study which was given to me and this was the daily routine that I used to do in IBM. Okay, so this is a no-brainer. When you are doing your internship, you will realize that there are some points or areas uh, which which need uh, improvement you know coming to MBA so uh, personally I thought that I was not very good in operations so when I came back to campus I took most of the subjects that were related to operations and uh, also while discussing with some people during my internship they recommended some courses which were personalized to me so I did them and you know the thing is you will do your internship and then you realize okay I'm not good in this area and you'll come back and you will work on that that's it so about the courses I don't think there are any courses that you know you need to compulsory do before you start your internship but the three things that you need to know is one is working on word then you know working on powerpoint that is making good presentations maybe canva maybe powerpoint and the third is you should be good in excel i think if you know these three things then you shouldn't have any problem in your internship if we only focus on the quality of the work that people do i don't think there is any particular difference between people with experience or people who don't have any experience who are freshers one difference that I have seen is people who are freshers they tend to get very chummy with you know the seniors and colleagues when they first go and enter the corporate world they think that the people who are working with them or their bosses they are their friends but that's not true because everyone is you know everyone talks very nicely with you when you're in corporate but sometimes Freshers thinks that uh, people are there to be their friends and sometimes it stabs them in the back. So that is all. Uh, focusing just on the quality of work, there is no actual difference. About the performance indicators, we used to have some tests and we used to have a score. But our consultants or our bosses or managers didn't uh, used to really focus on, the, on our score. But uh, we were judged on our presentations that we gave during the last end of, our, of my internship. So we had to provide a solution to a case which we were given and we were judged on that and uh, they didn't really give us any points or score but they gave us a very genuine feedback which was really helpful during my second year of MBA. knowledge that I had grew very fast compared to you know when I was studying there versus when I was working on field but there is one thing that I noticed and that was if you are very good in theoretical knowledge that is if you have studied really well in classes then you can actually easily do all the work that is being done there because sometimes it happens that you are not good with the basics and then a lot of time you know you waste a lot of time doing work you know that uh, people are doing on field and then you realize after a few weeks that you could have done something very differently only if you knew you know the basics very well or only if you had you know studied well in class but uh, the information that i got there was you know different from what i was study uh, what i used to get when i was studying and it's because you know sometimes 
when you are learning in class you don't know that you know how easy things are because sometimes you know applying four p's or applying knowledge uh, about operations you think that okay these are completely different but when you actually work there you think that okay these are easy things and one person doesn't have to do it a whole team is there so you don't actually have to learn or you know remember all the concepts you just have to talk with the people and you know talk with the consultants and that is it okay so i have two advices that i want to give the first is be chill and don't stress yourself out because this is just an internship and everyone knows in the company that you are going that you are just interns and that you are not you know managers yet and they will train you they will teach you so be patient with yourself the second thing is i have seen that people are you know full of energy during the beginning of the internship and they are like we will do this we will do that and sometimes the projects that are given to them i think people think uh, you know the projects are not good see please understand that you will not go there and ta uh, start talking with the customers on the first day you are just an intern so whatever task is given to you do it with honesty and do it diligently and you will learn uh, the task or whatever it is given so uh, like don't uh, stress yourself out in the beginning you know because in the end you will be exhausted hello everyone i'm astha vijay from bm batch of 2123 uh talking about myself i come from mumbai Uh, I have completed my engineering in electronics and telecommunications from Pune University. Post which I was working with Tata Consultancy Services. I have worked there for around about 32 months. Uh, I have shifted roles from being a developer to being a business analyst, and I also worked a short stint as a change manager. After all of that, I came here to XIMB, and I have been loving all my time over here. Uh, one of the major highlights of my time here was me being a national winner of Swiss Re Reimagine Challenge in 2023. So I was working as a solution sales specialist intern in Microsoft. My daily routine required me to connect with uh, both uh, internal and external stakeholders. Internal being the ones who are working with me in the sales pipeline. Uh, I could name a few roles such as account uh, specialist. a uh, customer success manager and few more of uh, my uh, same uh, people who are working in the same role say, say solution sales in different other product divisions as well uh, on the external side i was dealing with the enterprise customers say very big names uh, to name a few tata steel vedanta etc uh, and also the partner organizations which help microsoft uh, execute what they have in their vision uh, now coming to my project uh, which was very important to for you to understand what my entire role uh, encompasses i had to boost the sales of microsoft teams and microsoft surface pro uh, considering i also figure out what the different gaps were which they were already implementing in uh, improving the storytelling by uh, again uh, further reinforcing the value proposition that they were not able to land when they were going to the clients so yes So in class experience has been very interesting for me uh starting from learning courses in marketing operations finance and you won't believe I have used each one of these learnings when I went on field well uh, one thing was very important across all of this was communications because when you're talking to CTOs CXOs and CIOs of huge organizations the ones who have actually built your dream brands it's actually a little daunting so that is what i used the most uh oh, one very important skill is negotiations and as well as also how to interview or survey the customer because when you get into the private space of a customer or any client it's very difficult to get information out of them and me being a sales uh, person I had to first understand what their problems were before I could come up with a solution. One tip very important always understand your customer first before pose, before putting forward your solution. So yes. 
Microsoft being a leader in innovation expects all its employees to be innovative in their mindset. Let that alone. They follow two, three principles and one of them is very important, uh, which one is growth mindset. They want you to keep learning throughout your uh, tenure in Microsoft and even when you leave. So uh, they were constantly judging me on basis of how I keep a growth mindset while I'm working on my project. Uh, even if it is for a very small time, like a one month internship. Uh, other than that, they wanted me to think out of the box uh, because there are a lot of things they were already doing. Uh, there, there were times when I was suggesting him, uh, su suggesting them things that they already knew and they wanted me to give them something very, very novel. So that uh, really got me thinking and, you know, wrecking my brains out, yes. So during my time in Microsoft, I figured that a simple uh, sales role just does not require you to stick to having a sales mindset only. You need to have a consultant approach throughout. Whether you are a finance major, you're working in the finance sector, you're working in operations or you're working as a consultant. Uh, that was very important and a tip that was given to me by my mentor when I was uh, involved in a pre-internship course with Microsoft. He uh, asked me to read all the current news and uh, daily happenings using business standard because if you do not know the world, you cannot take perfect decisions. So it's really important for you to understand everything that's going around the world. Even if it's uh, stopping immigrants from entering the US border or uh, Modi ji bringing up some lawful ch uh, change in the country, anything and everything will affect your decision making uh, in that particular boardroom. That's it. Summing up my entire SIP would be first how to be very succinct and how to be very precise. Management as a field requires you to be very fast and to the point. There's no room for being verbose or being unnecessarily elaborate. Collect your thoughts and you should be able to put it out in one, one sentence if not one word. Next one was uh, how to weave a beautiful story. People out there might know you, might not know you. You will be pitching to people who are from the sales background or are not from the sales background. But your story and your presentation uh, pitch deck should be able to convince and make everyone understand in that boardroom that what you're trying to tell them and what are your ideas that you're trying to put forward. My advice to future interns would be uh, never fail or never fear to, you know, network uh, across countries because Microsoft keeps it open for you. You can even ping Satya Nadella, please don't do that. Uh, but uh, apart from that, you please be professional. Please try to think out of the box. Please don't limit yourself uh, that, you know, uh, you if you going outside your your comfort zone would, even if it troubles you, do it. Because that's somehow, some or the other way uh, leading to learnings. Uh, next would be taking that extra step. And always, always, always have that growth mindset because they appreciate people who are always willing to learn. Uh, they believe in I don't know it all policy. And they're, because in tech world, everything is changing at a speed faster than you blink your eyes. So you have to be uh, open to change and open to learning new things. Uh, again, being very specific about tech sales, this requires you to have skills both in the technical as well as the sales domain. But do not forget the other aspects of operations, logistics, um, and finance, most importantly. <laughs>